In this video, we'll answer the question whether SF4 is ionic or covalent. So we're talking about sulfur tetrafluoride. So is it ionic or covalent? So we have the periodic table and it's broken up to metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we find sulfur right here. Sulfur is a nonmetal. And then fluorine over here is also a nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals, that's a covalent compound. It's also called a molecular compound. So SF4 is a covalent or molecular compound. If we look at the Lewis structure for SF4, we can see that we have these bonds here, these lines, they represent the bonds between the sulfur and the fluorine atoms. So these are single bonds and each one represents a pair of electrons. Because the electronegativity difference between the sulfur and the fluorine isn't great enough for the sulfur to transfer electrons to the fluorine, which is more electronegative, they end up sharing. And because they share, this is a covalent bond here. Note also that we have a lone pair of electrons here. They're not bonded to anything. Sulfur is an exception to the octet rule. It can have more than eight. And that's why we have this seesaw molecular geometry for SF4. So because we have single bonds, the electrons, pairs, they're shared between the sulfur and the fluorine atoms, SF4 is a covalent or molecular compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.